because I've tried to make this video so many times and I'm kind of running out of time so I'm just going to make this a short review on this book but however I'm going to start this is the book it's called En Dore Fri and it's written by Beate Grimsrud this book was published in 2010 and it was it has been nominated to several prizes it's been given prizes yeah plural uh, and it was actually the entry from both Norway and Sweden because it's been published in both Norwegian and Swedish and not really translated because the author is both Norwegian and Swedish to so she, it was nominated by both countries to this huge huge literature prize in the no north of Europe the Nordic countries we say um, by both Sweden and Norway the Nordic something literature prize Nordisk Råds Litteraturpris I don't know what it's called in English it doesn't really matter it's not important but yeah prizes anyhow this book is about Eli Eli she lives in her flat alone but not quite alone and you ask why because there is someone inside her head mm-hmm yeah she has some boys there boys there as well there is Espen Erik Emil and some others as well and these voices because of course these are voices she hears in her head she's hearing these voices and it has been following her since she was a kid her whole life they had been there because she has been diagnosed with schizophrenia and we all the time we see see the whole thing from a point her point of view or her voices point of view which kind of sound a bit strange but that is sort of the case and she also at, at later in her life she she gets another a new voice in her head it's like a creative uh, guy called the Prince Eugene again in a witching and she has a therapist pop, uh, bleh, therapist called um, Jonathan and he's there as well and he's trying to help her to to try to deal with reality because for for Ellie we are dealing with reality is very hard and you kind of this is kind of the whole thing with the book you see it from her point of view and how she tries to deal with everyday life which is very hard uh, sometimes she's, she's hospitalized or in some institution or something sometimes it's just like the therapist coming just or uh, someone coming to see her instead in her home uh, sometimes she has a hard time getting out of the flat uh, sometimes she even tries to kill herself and it's 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 very hard for her to try and they he's also trying her to kind of uh, block the voices out to make her to pretty much to live a normal life um, but it's it's very hard and sometimes she manages it when she has good periods she 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 managed to live a pretty normal life and then other times it's it's much harder for her to live a normal life um, and she needs help and um, and she gets like into some sort of psychiatric uh, institution or other uh, and and it's it's pretty much a fight uh, for her the her whole life is pretty much a fight and I think that this book is really unique it's it's uh, the way we, we see everything through her eyes it makes it very special um, of course somebody could just write about it and and make it kind of mm, somewhat interesting but what makes this book so good is that it's so well written um, 
it's it's just language and 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 everything it's quite a thick book but it, it's it touches you it it you kind of get really really it gets inside your head and it's really trustworthy um as far as i know uh, the author of the book Beate Grinsru she has also been diagnosed with schizophrenia so maybe that has given her something extra some somebody says that the book might be autobiographical i'm not sure if that's true i haven't really any uh, seen any evidence that it's true but but it, it, it might be for all I know, uh, but it's not really important because the book is so good in itself. It doesn't really matter whether this is real or not real. It's just a great read, and I would I don't know if it has been translated into any other languages, and if it hasn't, I hope it will because it's really exciting and touching and gripping and all things good um so uh, yeah i don't really have anything bad to say about it but, which is not very common for me it's quite rare that i have nothing to put my finger on but i don't really have anything with this book so you should read it and the way to free